How to create a free logo for your business. Simple tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a professional looking logo without any graphic skills at all. So let's get into it. Now, for this tutorial, it's going to be very simple and easy and it is absolutely free. You don't need to have any coding experience or any graphic design experience or any kind of design experience at all. Zarla will do the thing for you. So what Zarla really is, is that it is a logo creation platform. They have created this application specifically to design logos and all all you have to do on the Zarla is enter your brand name or brand tag and then you can create your own free logo. So it is a simple and easy process. You don't need to be worried about anything at all. What you're going to do is you're going to go onto Zarla.com and over here you're just going to enter your brand name. So you might be wondering, hey, what if I don't like the logo? Well, Zarla is going to give you several different options for you to choose from. And once you choose an option, you can actually customize it. And I'm going to show you guys how to customize your logos as well. So you don't need to worry about, you know, a logo that you don't like because you're going to be able to find a lot of different options. So let's say that I have Tosh as the name of my brand and then you're going to add what kind of logo this is so if this is a restaurant if this is a business if this is a law firm if this is a tech firm you're going to enter what kind of business this is so let's say for me this is a salon so i'm going to enter salon over here and i'm just going to click on next and then you have to enter your brand name and then you brand slogan so that is optional you can add your slogan if you want and you can leave it blank if you don't have the slogan yet but for me i'm going to add a slogan called beauty in you like this and i'm just going to click on next and then you are going to answer why you need your logo and then if you want to customize icon so uh what I would recommend for most people is click on search for icons and then you're going to see all of the different logos that are available to you and then you can select one from those logos. So I'm just going to click on over here and then you can browse what kind of logos you want or you can go the other route and click on choose icons for me. And what this basically does is that this gives you like several different designs and color schemes that you can play with. So you can just scroll down and if you don't like anything, you can just click on design more logos and Sarala will keep on designing logos for you. So you don't have to worry about having any kind of limitations. You can scroll as much as you want and you can find a logo that you just like directly from here. And this allows you to have a lot of variability in your logos and you know, look at designs that you might have not even thought of on your own. So I really like this design. This is actually very cute. So I'm gonna click on this design and I'm going to customize it and make it my own. So how can you customize a logo on Zarla? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to first off click on the logo that you want to customize and then this is going to open up this Zarla logo editor so you can see over here that you have all of your business ids over here as well so you can create t-shirts you can create business cards phone applications dust bags uh, boxes any kind of packaging you can see how your logo is going to look like on that but to actually edit this you can see over here that on your left you have your editing panel you have your layouts you have your background colors you have your slogan you have name so you can change anything you want now uh, for most designs if you pick the design like so you probably the basic like layout of the design that is why i picked it so what i want to do is that instead of having a red color maybe i want to change this to pink so i'm just going to click on change color one and i'm going to make it like this pinkish color and i'm going to change color two and i'm going to make this a pinkish color as well and i'm going to change color one back again and i'm going to make it like a darker version of this pink so it's slightly darker like so so i think that's pretty good i like it like so so you can keep on customizing according to your own personal needs you can click on change over here and change the font style you can change it into any of these different options available you can change the size of the text you can change anything you want accordingly so let's say this is like one size if you want to make it in the size eight you can do that but obviously i'm going to leave it as a size one because it has been aligned like so after that, you can change the slogan sizes and colors as well. And then if you click on colors and if you have like multiple elements in your logo, so you can also do that to apply the entire scheme onto your logo. After that, you have your background and you can enter like different colors into your background if you want to change it. Let's say if I want a gray background instead of that being like absolutely black, I want a grayish kind of color. I can enter that like so. 
and then you can choose to show or remove background so if you want like a file without background you can do that as well but we want a blackish background and then below that you have your layout so if you want you know this is like aligned like logo basic business name and then slogan but if you want to place it like logo on the left you can do that or if you want to place like the larger logo with a smaller name you can do that and then if you click on your ideas section you're gonna get more ideas for the logo that you're looking to create so you can see these are the other ideas that they are providing you with and once you have made all of your changes what you're going to do is you're just going to click on enter your email and you're just going to click on over here and then you're going to enter the email that you are using and once you just enter your email you're going to click on free download and then just like that your local package has been sent to your email now you can directly download it so you have to make sure that you have entered your actual email and then you're just going to open up your email address and you can see i have Jared's email and i'm going to click on download your logo files and just like that my logo file will now be downloaded so it's a simple and easy process it's not too difficult and you can see the different resolutions that are available for the print use that i want so these are suitable for high resolution uh, media resolution for print so you can see i can go with the 5000 by 5000 in different variable colors and then you have resizable logo files as well so if you want to resize your logo files you can do that as well and you can also open up your website with the logo that you have so you can do a lot more with your simple Zara logo other than just designing it but I think it will take you less than 10 minutes to design your logo on Zara now if you don't like the designs that you find on Zara there are other free logo builders as well so don't worry at all so Zara although they have like a pretty good range of designs that you can get if you want more customization available and you want to be more in touch with the creative element of your logo another great application that you can use to create your free logo in under 10 minutes is Canva now Canva is super popular it, it is used for a lot of graphic design stuff but all you're going to do is you're going to log on to your Canva account you can sign up using your email address and then you're just going to search over here for logo and then they will give you some template logos you can start with editing these template logos or you can just click on create a blank logo and then you can also browse templates on the left over here so you can still browse different templates just to get an idea of how to get started and you can see all of the different uh, logo templates that are available so there's like quite a lot that you can do with canva templates as well so if you're looking to have more control over the logo customization then using canva might be the better option for you instead of using Zarela. but if you want to really simplify your work then using Zarela might be a little better for you so with Canva, you also have different categorizations of stuff. So you have gaming logos, you have badge logos, art design logos, fashion logos. So you can probably find a template related to the field that you are working in for you to create like a better logo. So there's coffee logos. Let's, if I search for fashion logo, then I will be able to find specific logos that are fashion. Or if I continue with my example of a salon logo, then you can see over here there are different templates they are recommending to me and this is actually such a pretty little template over here so i can just open this up and i can rename the text over here so it could be um tasha's beauty in you so we're just going to write tasha's and then on the back i'm going to write beauty in you or i'm just going to expand this like so or if I don't want to write beauty in you, I can just write um, Tasha's in the back as well. And then you can link your website if you want. You can just delete this element if you want. You can click on the element section over here to add more design elements as well. So you can see these are the different graphics that have been used and you can add similar graphics onto the logo itself to create a more cohesive yet further design element. Like if I want to add some more um, green highlights, I can just click on this or like pink highlights. Then I'm going to click on this, I'm going to make it pink and I'm going to just place it over here. And let's say I just want over here like this. So you can keep on adding more design elements. You can click on any element to change the color to whatever you might want. So you can change it to anything you want. Let's say I want to make this like a super multicolor logo. Then I would just select different colors over here and I'll just change the color of the text as well. 
So there's like a lot you can do with Canva as well. And the customization is definitely more uh, available on Canva than it is on Azurella. But still, both of them are great logo making websites. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own brand logo or business logo for free using Zerla, Canva, or any other graphic design platform. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.